Okay guys, I am back. And you're in here with another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we obtained the ability to split Link's body into two copies when he stands on certain four panels. We did some exploring and plot advancement and stuff, and we learned a lot about Ezlo and Vati and their backgrounds and how they were both Minish and crap. We also learned how to swing our sword and break rocks! and got possessed by a perverted swordsman teacher again. In this episode, we're going to go to the next area, which is... not equipping my dust jar. Or talking to Ezlo. Let's look at the map. We're going to try... here! So let's go south! Yeah, enthusiasm! Macho Man Randy Savage. Why am I talking like this? I am being very silly today. I mean, even more than usual. I clicked that to the wrong button. Bombs! Explosions! Berries! Forgot to go get something really useful. You can do that now. You guys can watch me as I do it. Remember that miniature gave us the bombs? Unless I'm mistaken, he should have developed new types of bombs? Now, after doing Swift Blade, my voice is rather gravelly, so forgive me for this. Damn it! Apparently I was wrong! That was a colossal waste of time. I'm not going to edit that out, though, because it's too irksome. Just going to keep performing the main method of transportation in Hyrule and continue to drop bombs I really shouldn't drop. Let's switch the buttons these weapons are on since I'm used to the sword being on B. Cut a stomp! Roll more! Try to go the wrong way to the western wood! Roll even more. Oh, right, I opened this place, didn't I? Money! Okay, enough with the screaming. I'm starting to sound like freaking Cloud here. Anyway, yeah, how are all you guys? This was a very hyperactive opening to this LP since I was still in the Swift Blade mindset, but now that I'm done with that, let's cut some Octoroks in the face, shall we? Oh my god, there was a kinstone piece in the grass. I totally forgot that was there. Of course, I think green kinstone pieces can be randomly found anywhere. I'm probably totally wrong about this. Like I said, it's been forever since I last played this game. There's a portal there. A minished portal. But I totally forgot how to open it. I also totally forgot how to get to the swamps. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be going to the Caster Wilds right now, but I don't remember how to get there. I mean, I could... guess I could try this, but I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't get over these rocks. Wait! I think I just had a brain spasm. That's my new word for having awesome ideas. It's probably completely wrong now. Like I said, it's been forever since I've played this, and now, hey, this lady must have used kinstones. Damn it, I don't have the right kind of kinstone. So many people want that specific green kinstone, that's so weird.
Hi, soldier bro dude. I don't know what these guys are, so but I like to call them kobolds. Because it just seems like that would be what they would be called. Yeah, yeah, here we go. This is a two block, a two link block, so we can push this one. And the ground just gets scraped up with the passing of the heavy block, then both links climb up. And we encounter the magical, mystical, super fantastical blue Octorox! The only difference is they take one more swing to kill. We've got a red kinstone piece. These pieces are parts of unique fusions that give you specific, normally very good rewards for fusing them. Hello, I am P Percy. Percy. Poet Laureate of Hyrule. And you are Jacob? Oh no, the pleasure is all mine. I travel all over the realm, writing verse wherever I go. And here I am, returning after a long absence only to find the roadblock. It wouldn't feel like such a waste if I hadn't lost half of my kinstone. When misfortune rains down upon my head, it pours in torrents. I think I may have dropped it in the inn I stayed last night. I see the stars beyond the rainbow, but I cannot reach them. Though the stone I lost is small. Not was its place in my heart. In this game, that's uh, what? Anyway. Dude, there are kidstone pieces in the grass all over the place! Yeah, this wall is bald. A bowl. <coughs> ah! I got buried, then I drowned! Cause Link can't swim. Welcome to the Western Wood. Eh? What a strange feeling. I sent something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Body! Hmm. Who's there? What? Body, how did you get in here? doing? It looks like you're all here. Very well. The King of Hyrule has words for you. You all know of the power the Picori gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it! It is somewhere in Hyrule. Go now and bring me this power! Waste no time! Go forth at once and bring me the light force! Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. Hmm. Maybe it's just the wind, but I hope nothing bad has happened. Anyway, we need to look for the next element. The map says it should be around here somewhere. First, we need to open up another shortcut straight from our house in the Castle Wilds. There's a house back there, man. Or who lives all the way out here? Let's go be freaking Minish, man. Go to this house. What do you want? Planted a bead! But it won't grow. Yeah, I totally forget how to make that bean grow. Okay. 
Okay, that makes that annoying ringing noise. Get near it. Moblins! Yeah, the boomerang is just totally OP. Obviously the most useful weapon in the entire game. It only gets better after it gets its upgrade. To the Caster Wilds, danger. Don't forget your Pegasus boots. I don't have any of those. So this must be the Caster Wilds. It's a nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire. But we know there's an element waiting for somewhere in here, so... In we go! Come on, Jacob! Into the muck with us! If you say so! <laughs> hey! Jacob! Watch your feet! You're sinking! You're sinking! You sink all the way and I'm going to get muddy! I don't think we can just walk across this swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. We can discuss it later. Get me out of here now! Now, I really, really like the theme music in the Castor Wilds. It's like some tribal variation on the actual Legend of Zelda theme. And it's just really cool. Like, I absolutely love it. You can hear the normal Legends out of theme, what plays in the overworld here, playing in the background when you're in the Castor Wilds. Well, I suppose if we want Pegasus boots, we'd better go to the shoemaker's shop. Derp! You fell asleep! Hey, you're Jacob, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Malori. I request out the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but then who'd make Rem shoes from? Oh, you need Pegasus boots? Just to tell him, we made a pair just now while Rem was sleeping, but only Rem can put the finishing touches on them. Ha <laughs> ha, that sleepyhead Rem is nearly impossible to wake up. If you wake him, want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's hut. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. Yes, Syrup's hut is all the way back in the Minish Woods. I believe this is the only time you actually see a human when you're in the close-up view in Minish form. This gives you an idea of just how big they are. I think we're going to get out of the dungeon first, but... I mean, to get out of Rem's house first. Oh! Here, I want to show you guys this first. It's Beetle! Why, hello there! Thanks for coming by! I sell all kinds of Pickleite! I just put it in your body when good stuff happens when you drink it. Green. Makes it easier to find mysterious shells. Red Pickleite. Makes hearts common. White pick a white. Makes it easier for you to find kingstone pieces. That's an empty bottle. If you ever find a new kind of pick a white, he'll put it in there. Why can't you just sell us the empty bottle? He only sells three kinds right now. He'll sell more as time wears on, though. Yes! We can go into the inn now. There are all kinds of different rooms in the inn, and that guy over there's right. You really do get what you pay for. There's a 50 rupee room, a 200 rupee room, and a 400 rupee room. I'm going to show you the 50. It's pretty sucky. This little basement thing is the 50 rupee room, and we sleep with Ezlo. And it like just shakes him awake and stuffs him on his head. We get a little present. 
Whenever you sleep in the 50 rupee room, you get a green kinstone piece or the equivalent. Dead gummit. Okay, there really wasn't much to do in the inn. Yes, here they are. Now, for all those of you who've played the Oracle games, these three might seem familiar. We need to find a nice, quiet place where we can settle down. It's so nice to be here, and it's such a big town at last. Staying in this inn forever would start to be a bother. These guys! These girls! I'm just going to tell you right away. They are dead! Furor! Nehru! These were, these three women are the humanizations of the three goddesses of Hyrule. And there's a mini quest involving them where we have to sell them a house! This house! We can't start it yet, but I've been waiting forever to show you guys that. I'm going to check inside here to see if he's nope. And now, I think we're going to end this episode off here, directly in the middle of the square. In the next episode, we are going to go find that awakening for Ram and get ourselves some Pegasus shoes. Until next time. Well, this has been Nurin. See you then. <laughs>